Yo guys, Chris here, back in the video, and today we are gonna be doing a $500 gift card giveaway. I need to see the video to get around 300 likes. If we could smash that like goal, can you imagine if I was actually like that? All right, yo guys, Chris here, back in the video, and today this is for more of the beginner or someone who is just picking up Forza Horizon 4. This would be me last year when I first got into Forza playing Horizon 3. I didn't know any of this stuff at all. So uh, if you've played Horizon 3, Horizon 2, all the other Horizons, you know all about it. And this video probably won't be anything good for you unless you're bored, uh, but this is more for the beginner. So it is just 20 things that to do in Forza Horizon 4. I've seen multiple videos like this for like GTA and all that kind of stuff. And so this is more towards the Forza series. So yeah, these things are gonna be basic, simple things to do for beginners. So number one is going to be making any kind of livery you want. Now, there are people who are five stars at livery and there are people who are two stars. I'm a two star, I think I might've got three stars in Horizon 3. I was a livery guy, I really like doing the liveries. It's a fun thing to do. Um, making your own vinyls, you can make different logos, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm hoping for there to be an It's Chris Gaming logo, but it's kind of just a C with a complicated background. So, probably not. Uh, but yeah, make any livery you want. And then the good thing is, is that with the Horizon 4 system, you can level up in livery making. Not only can you be a five star painter, you can be a five star painter. I just said that. Uh, you can level up and get credits based on making your own designs. Number two is something that benefits you a lot and it is doing all the XP boards. XP isn't that hard to get in Horizon at least, but the XP boards are definitely fun to do uh, and stuff. So you gotta make sure you do those. Uh, you get, I said, you can get 20,000 XP, a whole bunch of different XP just by running over the boards. And sometimes you just accidentally do it. Other times you have to go hunting for it. Uh, overall, there can be some cool boards in different positions. Number three is doing all of the danger signs. Now this one is fun to do for the first time, I would say. All you have to do is make sure you have rewind on. I will tell you that. Just go into your difficulty and have rewind on uh, because you're going to need it. You can build huge cars and trucks to do these danger signs or you can do V12 Lamborghinis. It really doesn't matter. Uh, it is. I don't know how many danger signs are in this game as of right now, uh, but it is fun definitely doing all of them. Number four is really making the perfect race car. Now this is something that I used to do on Horizon 3. I would just spend a lot of time, like I would start off doing the correct, or finding the, a good car. So maybe an A-class car that uh, isn't extremely race car-ish already, that you can go and make a race car. So maybe like, um, I don't know, just pick something, maybe a Corvette. So you pick the Corvette and uh, then you spend a lot of time getting the right, uh, Upgrades so not having having the most horsepower isn't always the best thing so get the right amount of horsepower per race tire and get the right amount of weight as well and Really spend some time doing the tuning Maybe make a racing livery of it and then just race that car around you can use a lot of it in the campaign uh, Especially if it's like an a-class or an s1 car so that is something really fun to do uh, number five more for the experience is making different tunes i say weird tunes because we've seen the likes of dj customs and uh donjo one song just making these absolutely weird tunes how you can uh this with suspension and all that you might have to research stuff on this but really you can just make your own tune you can make an all-wheel drive car a front wheel drive car by changing differential all different things like that Number six is something new with Horizon 4, and that is the verticality of the map. See if you can take a, like a Miata or something up a hill climb. Maybe bring uh, like a 100 horsepower car that weighs like a thousand pounds. Uh, we all know what car that is. And maybe try to take it up a hill, see if you can do it. It's just something to do when you're bored really, and I think it would actually be pretty fun to attempt this. Kind of like GTA, how you would just take random like bicycles up Mount Chiliad. Number seven is drag race on the frozen lake. Now you can only do this in winter, but in Blizzard Mountain, it was impossible to do anything on that frozen lake. So why don't you challenge your friends to do a frozen lake drag race? And that might be something I, in, uh, I do in my challenges. So stay wary of that. Number eight is finding glitches. Now, 
finding glitches are definitely hard to do so it's kind of doing like the explore the map but maybe searching up glitches i already know i'm gonna have some glitches posted on this t uh, channel but maybe finding those glitches and doing them uh depends how you want to play the game really number nine is more of a thing you can do with your friends but i guess you can also do it yourself is doing the different uh rivalries like ford versus chevrolet lamborghini versus ferrari bmw versus mercedes maybe try building a car in each class like an a class s1 and s2 see what kind of works test it out for yourself i don't know and you can make your own tunes and stuff too upload them and hey i mean you're getting work done too Number 10 is drifting around the city or even drifting around the whole map. Something really fun to do in Horizon 3 was just building a drift car and then drifting around Surfer's Paradise, going through the different uh, roundabouts and such, and try drifting the whole map. I saw Domestic Mango do it, so I know you can. Halfway through the list here, number 11, something else that you can do that will level you up in the game, and maybe upload to Instagram or something, maybe onto the forums, are... For photography this is huge this year because we can now take pictures in real time and take pictures in online lobbies so something crazy happens who knows maybe there's a lot of new things with the photo mode maybe you can get the perfect lighting everybody loves a good forza picture like i said sometimes it even makes it on the good uh, on the website so go ahead and go for that Number 12 is a mini game to play with your friends and Jack Ultra Mode have made it big last year. It is City Camo. I'm going to have a lot of that on my channel too for Horizon 4 just like in Horizon 3. City Camo, pretty fun to do. It's basically prop hunt. If you haven't played it before, uh, you ch there's one guy trying to seek the other guys and all the other ones are trying to act like the AI cars around the map. So that is really fun to do. Number 13 kind of goes with a few of the other ones being make your own tunes try to be a master tuner when it really comes in the multiplayer lobbies and everybody's the same car or something it can come down to the tune or like i said make your own weird tunes you can level up fully just tuning and you can be a five star tuner and get all these different unlocks and being able to sell cards for more everybody knows i have to the rx7 last game if you don't know five star painters and tuners were just selling that 17 million you make a lot of money doing that number 14 is a new kind of a new thing with horizon 4 and that is doing the events so there are going to be multiple events throughout the uh, i should say i don't really know actually throughout the time playing the game the different forza funds and all that kind of stuff uh, which ties in to number 15, which is doing the Forza Thon. I'm actually going to tie 14 to 15 together here. So there's the team events. It's kind of like Battle Royale, actually. Uh, and then there's Forza Thon, which is just your own thing that you try to do on a weekend, while the actual online Forza Thon is something everybody tries to get in the matter of like an hour or something. So number 16 is kind of like the danger sign. It is just taking stupid jumps. I guess, does this even count as one? I'm just gonna count it as one. Uh, we saw in the introduction to Edinburgh that you can jump into the city from a huge hill and we know that there's a lot of different spots in Horizon 3 that you can just absolutely jump and get airtime for like 10 seconds, especially at the uh, uh, airfield and such. And so there's gonna be those spots in Horizon 4 maybe just taken into your own account too. Uh, I'm actually gonna uh, just adding this one as a bonus and that is doing the achievements and this kind of ties into the last one so I'm just gonna leave it with that. Number 17 is more for the YouTube side of thing but I mean you can sure post it on Instagram and stuff and it will really be fun it will help you improve a lot of your different uh, skills as well is doing cinematics it can literally just be like a 20 second cinematic you don't need like editing well you do need editing software but you can use like iMovie if you really want to i don't really know uh i said it's more for the youtube type of thing but a lot of people did cinematics last year and blew up on them or just haven't blown up but still enjoy making them and it is definitely fun to do especially for the new guys out there number 18 is racing the funny cars now this might be the uh, huge truck that can get 2400 horsepower or it might be the small car the izetta blah 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 you can really just do a lot of funny things with these cars like the uh, reliant last year without training wheels how the uh, ai would always crash into him, uh, them that would be really really funny uh, so just do kind of stuff like that i don't really know 
Number 19, as we're closing up here, is exploring the entire map. Now, this kind of goes in with the last one too. Just doing everything that the map gives you, there's different things you can do everywhere across the map, like the different signs, the different boards, the different drifting areas and stuff like that. I mean, you just should explore the entire map. Horizon 3 gave us a really good map. This game is giving us a really good map as well. And last one, but actually the most important one, beat the game. This will take the most amount of time. I cannot stress this enough. Beating the game will absolutely set you good. It will set you for it will set you up for the future basically. In Horizon 3, I'm sure for Horizon 4, if you beat the game, therefore you finish all the races, all the championships, all the showcases, you level up everything, you get the achievements, finish all the Forzathons, you're basically going to have every car or you're going to have enough money to buy every single car. So beating the game is the most important thing. Could take you two weeks, could take you a year. I never, I mean, I got to 99.7 in Horizon 3 because there's a glitch where you do 63 of the different races, but it only counts 62 of them, uh, which is unfortunate. But I, I technically beat Horizon 3, I finished everything, and I have had like 10 million for since I beat it. And I, that's just me buying car after car after car because you just make the money back once you beat the game. You don't have to worry about finishing something or getting more influence. So yeah, that is 20 and a half, 21, 20 things that you should do in Horizon 4. Um, once again, this was set for the beginner. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a like. All that stuff in the beginning was just um, me trying to do a funny intro. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of this video. See you guys next time. Subscribe for more Forza Horizon 4 content as I'll be double uploading when the game comes out. And yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.